All right, let me find a good Kahoot. Oh, this one's good. All right, we're gonna go with common North American fish ID. All right, let's begin. We're identifying common American freshwater fish. I think it's mostly sunfish, we'll see. But we gotta do the Latin. Family, genus, and species of this fish. That is a pretty small image. <laughs> good luck, chat. Someone in chat tell me the common name. I guess it doesn't particularly matter since everybody should know. The common name should be very well known. It's a pretty common fish. Yes, thank you, Angry Welk. It's a bluegill. But what's the bluegill's scientific name? Macrochiris. I don't know freshwater. Well, too bad, you're learning now. What is this? I wanna be honest, I do not know the specific epithets of the Lapoma species. I got the first one wrong. I thought Cyanellus was the bluegill because cyan, but I think this one's Cyanellus because this is a green sunfish, right? I don't, I just don't know. I have not studied the specific epithets of sunfish. I don't really work with sunfish at all. Yeah, yeah, this is the green sunfish. I understand. Huh. Again, I know the species of fish, but I do not know the specific epithet. It's a red breast, right? Red breast sunfish, but I do not know if it's Megalotus or Marginatus. Could be either. Megalotus it is, unfortunate. What the fuck is that? Oh, I know what this is. Again, I don't know the Latin though. <laughs> these are not very common around here. We get these very occasionally. Very occasionally we come across these guys. I, th I mean, I don't know. I yeah, it's a warm mouth, right? Okay, cool. I was gonna say it. God damn it, I just keep choosing, it's like a 50-50 and I just keep choosing the la the wrong one. I have zero points. <laughs> I've gotten none of these. Oh wait, I got the green sunfish right. I don't know what this fish is. Is this a red ear? I honestly don't really know what a red ear looks like. It's a shell cracker? What the fuck is a shell cracker? Guess we don't have those here. I mean, it's obviously this one because it's a Lepomus, it's a sunfish species. Oh, southern name for red ear? Oh, yeah. I was right. It is a red ear then. Oh. You convinced me I was I was wrong when I said red ear from the start. Oh my god. My sweet boy! My sweet, sweet boy. My sweet favorite fishy. Not my favorite species, but my favorite genus. My sweet Natropus. My sweet, sweet Natropus. Oh my god, I love the genus Natropus. It's so hype. But I've almost caught up, even though I got so many wrong for no reason. There's so many things spelt wrong. <laughs> I'm taking a guess. I do not know a genus Venusta, and I do not know a genus Exosia. Exosia. It's not a fungalus, so I'm assuming it's a satin fin shiner, because it looks like a satin fin. It looks like a type of satin fin. It's got that wide trunk, but I don't know. It was a satin fin, Cipronella. Yes, yeah, Cipronella is the right spelling, but there's no P here. This says Cyrenella. It's spelt wrong. <laughs> it's Cipronella. There's a P there. Look at that, I'm in fifth. It's me, A-V-N, lowercase j. I guess the first four wrong, and I'm still now back in it. Oh my god, I clicked the wrong one. I clicked the fucking Pimophilus. I clicked the fucking Fathead. Obviously, it's a creek chub, bro. I, if you gave me common name, I would have gotten every single one so far. I need to brush up on my Latin. This is a creek chub. Semodulus atromaculatus. I can say the Latin, I just don't remember the uh, which species each one's tied to. Okay, surely I'm gonna get the rest. What the fuck is that? Why is its eye so fucked up? It's definitely a Cipronella, right? Also, this quiz is old. Cipronella aren't in the Cyprinidae anymore. Arthropoda? Arthropoda gamiridae. Interesting. An arthropod. I don't know why his eye is so big, but it's definitely a satin fin. It's unfortunate, though, because the key identifying feature is the black on the dorsal fin, and they don't even have the dorsal fin shown, so how are you supposed to do it? Wait, I'm up to third place? Holy shit. I don't even live near these fish. Ah. Uh, okay. Is Pimiphaus vigilax a real species? I don't know. That's the blunt nose and fat head um, genus. But we only have blunt nose and fat head from that genus, so I don't know if that's this one's even a species. It's real? Oh, cool. I got it. 
You guys are still picking Lapomis? That was the Sunfishes. Come on, guys. You should at least know by now. I'm up to second. I've gotten so many wrong. Hello? Was this one reclassified since this was made? None of these are right. What is Lythrorus? What genus is Lythrorus? That's it, right? What the hell is Lythrorus? That has to be a defunct genus that I've never heard of. The Fine Scale Shiners. What? Huh. It's a southern genus of shiners. Interesting. Never heard of Lythrorus. Well, now I know the southern genus of shiners. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> I didn't preview the quiz. I probably should have previewed the quiz. <laughs> I probably should have previewed the quiz, huh? Usually I preview just to make sure. Just to make sure it's all good. Hopefully it doesn't get worse than that. <laughs> Way too many people picked that. <laughs> At least the right answer was still there. Dude, there's so much stuff spelt wrong. Notropus. Isn't Notatus? Am I crazy? What is Fungulus Notatus? Fungulus Notatus. Oh, it is this. I thought Notatus was... Oh, no, yeah. Obviously. Fungulus Heterocolitis and Fungulus Diaphanous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the black stripe or top minnow. Whatever those. Black top minnow. Some word like that. They're not around here. Oh, my sweet booby. I know the genus. I do not know the species, but I know the genus. It is clearly in the Persina genus. One of those darters, the Persina darters. This is spelt wrong, but it's not Ethiostoma anyways. And Persina cypronella seems made up based on that genus, so I went with that one. Perfect. Can I catch up? I have two questions. If I get them both right and the person first gets them both wrong. Dude, there's so many spelling errors. <laughs> Whoever made this just did not care about spelling. Where is the E in Ethiostoma? Come on. The right answer always has a spelling error. I don't think the right answer has ever been spelt correctly. Starting to question if I know what a fish is. Ah, well, I can't beat Angry Walk unless they lose points. All right, last one, though. Gonna get it right. Oh, shit. It's a long ear. What the fuck is a long ear? I don't know. Let's try. Oh, it's probably Marganatus. God damn it. I went with micro lophus. Small loaf. I just don't know the specific epithet of sunfish, dude. I know the specific epithet of most of the other fish, but sunfish are just not my vibe. God damn it, it was marginatus. Did I still get second at least? Damn, I got five wrong. That's embarrassing. Homosexuality wins today and all days. All right, one more quiz. This time we have a lore kahoot. Chris Y made us a lore kahoot, which is essentially a kahoot about Avian J lore with questions related to Avian J. Am I going to pre-look at it? No, of course I'm not going to. It might be terrible. It might be good. See how much you know about Avian J, or maybe some of the facts will be wrong. If I get less than 100%, this quiz is bullshit. Just saying. If I get less than 100% on a quiz about my own lore, it's a bullshit quiz. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> Someone put their name as Roll. Dude, why in the middle of a fish identification quiz was there an answer about... I don't know, man. That's so weird. Okay. Let's see, how much do I know about myself? What does Avian J stand for? That's a tough question. None of them are right! <laughs> None of them are... Wait, what? They're all wrong! How am I supposed to get the question right if they're all wrong? Did he misspell veterinarians and put veterans? Or is it a joke about the Algemeen Flamsch National Vyokterwan? He just misspelled veterinarian. God damn it. God damn it, Chris Y. Why is X X Okay. I just took a while because what the fuck was that question? What is the actual term for fish biologist? I wish I was a fishologist. It'd be so much easier to explain to people. I always have to say, yeah, I'm an ichthyologist. And then they look at me funny and then I go, I study fish. And they go, oh. If I was just a fish fishologist, it'd be so much easier. Wow, I am proud of you guys. Most of you guys know what an ichthyologist is. But way too many of you picked marine biologists. <laughs> still, still a little bit disappointing. What? Oh, is this was this in the video? 
This was probably in the video I watched about Crabzilla. They probably gave an estimate of how wide it was. I do not remember. I'm guessing 80 because it seems on the high end of the middle. I don't think he would make it one of the extremes. So it's not 300 to 100. It's either 50 or 80. 50 seems too central. I think 80 is the is the play just based on the, the read. Fuck, it was 50. Well, I said it was 50 or 80. I had a 50-50 chance. Damn it, I'm not even in the top five on my own quiz. Oh, which fish have I not had a video about? I know this one. Because I, I do that. I make the videos. That's me. I'm Zach. <laughs> I know which one it is because I'm the one making the videos. It's real. It's a real question that I can answer. Real. Yeah, I make the videos. Pretty cool, right? That's me. I'm Avian J. I've never made a video about a coelacanth. I made the lump suckers and salmon farming. The fact that a lot of people chose that makes sense because that's a very old video and not a super well-known one. Giant oarfish is the... I made an entire documentary. Lantern fish. I made that, uh... Why are so many fish in the deep ocean? Or why are most fish in the deep ocean? Hey, I'm back in the top five. What the fuck is this question? <laughs> okay. It's an odd question. It's pretty well known, I think, right? I'm pretty sure if you just look up Avian J, you get it. It comes up. I also just posted a, um... My, uh, ID my dichotomous key video today with my name on it. I found the website you made for the document. What do you mean you found it? It's the top link in the description from today's video. Damn, 60 people said it's not publicly known. Ooh, I got I got up on that. Let's go. What the fuck is multi-select? Which cryptid did Zach say could be real? I have to pick multiple options? Taking a guess, I don't know. I mean, I watched the videos and I said the things, but I do not remember. Oh my god, I got it right. I chose both. Wait, do I get a lot of points for that? Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm close second. Close second. All right, I can win this quiz still. As for how many members does the Avian J I Naturalist group have? I know the answer to that only because these answers are so far apart. If the answers were closer together, I would question myself, but. The Avian J I Naturalist group has been hovering around 300 for a while now. Four would be really funny. If I made an entire video about I Naturalist and only four people joined the group. I wish there were 3,000. Nope. Which fish took the top spot in top 10 scary fish? I remember this. I made this list. I remember it. See, if it's anything that I spent more time on, like not something I just reacted to, I remember it. I remember things that I put work or effort into. It was the pin-8 batfish. Remember it was the Halloween orange-bordered looking fish? Damn it, why can I not catch up to Amethyst Best? How many episodes of River Monsters has Zach reacted to? Again, I don't remember things I react to. That shit goes in my brain, in one ear. I say some dumb shit about it, and then it goes out the other ear. I don't, I don't remember these things. I think it's two. Weren't there only two publicly available episodes? Or did I manage to find a third one because it did really well? The videos did well, so I might have done a third one, but I think I only did two. Ah, oh, fuck. It was three. I thought I only found two publicly available episodes. Damn it. What hasn't Zach... What hasn't... What hasn't... What? Oh, seen sharks do in a bright side video. That took me so long to read. I just assumed that it was wrong, but it was actually correct. Yeah, we watch sharks fly, we watch them breathe air, we watch them defeat God. But we have yet to see them commit tax fraud. That'll be the next bright side video, giving them some ideas. Which video was Sea Honey first mentioned? Oh, I don't know. It was, I was reading my Twitter DMs during a stream. I was just reading out that people had sent me DMs about Twitter, about Nihani on stream. It had nothing to do with the video. I didn't read it because of the video. So whatever video it's in is just by pure coincidence that it's in that video. Because I was not talking about anything related. Oh, it was the best fish. I knew it was one of these two. These are too old. The my fish tier list and react to the fish tier list are too old. That was before Sea Honey. So I knew it was one of these two, but it was a 50-50 for me. Which video does not have a clickbait thumbnail? Aren't all thumbnails clickbait? Isn't the entire point of making a thumbnail to bait users into clicking it? Pretty sure every single thumbnail I have ever made has been clickbait. I feel like it would defeat the purpose if you posted a thumbnail that was not meant to get people to click on it. What this is saying is it's like, 
which one of these was a shitty clickbait? And the answer is the ichthyology. It was a shitty clickbait, but that's the best you could do. People don't want to watch an ichthyology video. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's just not a popular thing. What is Zach's username in Melee? This is no longer true, by the way. Just to be clear, my current name in Melee is FOD Enjoyer. And my name prior to that was Mr. Morale. And my name prior to that was a long string of numbers. And I think my name prior to that was Sturgeon. I have changed my name quite a few times. But yes, once upon a time, my name was Carp Sex. My name was also Zachary at one point, though, so that answer should have been correct, too. Which channel has Zach never reacted to a video from? I've definitely seen a Watch Mojo video. I've, of course, watched Whirly. I feel like I remember the Chameleons. I feel like I remember that name. I don't remember Truth is Scarier Than Fiction. That channel name doesn't sound familiar to me. Holy shit, I actually remembered the things that I react to for once. Let's go. Up into second place. How much progress did Zach make in Subnautica? I don't know what any of these mean. I don't really know. I never really played Subnautica to complete the game. I just kind of swam around and found cool shit to show off for a video. What the fuck is the quarantine enforcement platform? I picked the Leviathan thing. Isn't that the last thing I did? I got the Neptune escape rocket blueprints. I do not remember doing that. I have never heard the words Neptune escape rocket in my life. I swear. Two more questions though. Oh, not another fucking multi-select. Which fish cryptid has Zach never heard of yet? That's a bold assumption. That's a bold assumption to say. Sure, I haven't heard of three of the four of these, but that's a bold assumption. If I'm wrong, something is horrifyingly wrong. I picked these three. Blue, red, and yellow. I have never heard of those three. If he says that I have heard of one of those three, I don't- I- I, I don't know, man. What? The Pallid Self- Oh, wait, I do kind of remember the Pallid Self and as one of those deep sea ones. Uh, that's not really a cryptid, it's just a guy looking out of bathysphere with the wrong- Whatever. Which lake did we're- Oh, I know this one. Holy shit. I can get this one right, a question that actually requires knowledge of myself and my viewers. Holy shit. Which- which lake did Whirly travel to, to disprove the monster that lived in that lake? That's right, it's Bear Lake, Utah. Or somewhere around Utah. Yeah, most people knew that. That was an older video, I'm surprised you guys were here. I got 13 out of- I got four questions wrong, third place. And let me guess, Amethyst. Congratulations, Amethyst Best and Cacophonus. You know more about me than I know about me, apparently. So congratulations on that.